All right, y'all. My sister is replacing this window right here, garage window. And the problem she has is <clears throat> the nailing flange or fin is behind the existing siding. So what she's gonna do is she's going to use a reciprocating saw to cut this fin. But before she does that, she's going to remove, we're gonna remove the screen here and then remove this, the sliding panel out. After we remove the sliding panel out, we're going to remove the fixed panel so that she can use the reciprocating saw and cut the fin under there and around the entire window without any glass in the window. And we highly advise that. Now y'all, when you're working on this project, you want to wear some safety glasses. There will be metal flying and you just want to be careful. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to remove the screen and the sliding panel. She's inside removing the sliding panel right there. You just lift it out, <clears throat> move it over and lift it out. She put a sheet on the interior of the garage because, and just tacked it up with some nails, because there will be metal flying and she wants to keep it out of the garage. Now she's going to remove the stationary panel and she'll show you how she does that. So if you need to replace a panel glass in your window, here's how you do it. Right here, we'll show you. I look for an edge to lift up. going to replace this panel try and not damage these the trim the trim she's removing right here y'all she's just using a putty knife and edging along the trim where it goes we'll Maybe show them after when, when you get it off so see how easy that trim comes off and here's where it goes y'all you see right back in there that's where it goes because this overlaps down here she's going to take this piece of trim off next see it coming away y'all Maybe rolling it out to rolling it out towards you a little bit. Roll it out. And there you go. Here's how you There's get the actual glass panel out. See how she's putting that putty knife in? She's going around with the putty knife and making sure that all of this is free around here. Right in there, y'all. Yeah, right, right there. Right up there. I'm going to go inside the garage now, my arm won't reach all the way around, and release it right here. If you're doing it by yourself, it's probably a good idea to put some tape of some sort from here to here, here to here, every corner. And at the bottom there, so that because, the glass doesn't fall out on you. Yeah, you don't want it to fall out on you, and maybe even across from there to there for <coughs> safety. She's talking about even across from here to the over way. there putting some tape so that when you're releasing the window on the inside it doesn't fall out on you. You got to break through this stuff right here. That's what she's going to be doing with the putty knife on the inside. See that? Just, just that to break it free. You have to release it all the way around the window on the interior of the window. And I am holding the window for her on the outside, but you want to make sure that's secured somehow or somebody else on the outside. So she's just moving along and releasing with that putty knife the adhesive that's holding the window pane in. So you see her technique, putting the knife in, drying it down. Now she knows the window's giving way again. I'm holding it right here. You see the blade coming through, y'all? Right there. You just work it along. Yep. Okay, y'all, so can you push that again, Becky, so they see, you see that window coming out? See that? Okay, she's getting ready to be released. Becky's got one more side to do. There she goes, right on up there. <sighs> y'all need to have safety glass on. There it is, it's loose now. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to show you up here that it's loose. See, it's loose up there. And we already saw that it was loose over here. So now I'm going to step back and y'all can watch her. Remove that window pane. There you go. 
the whole paint comes out. You will be touching glass on the edges, that's why it's nice. You've got to wear gloves. You're going to be touching glass on the edges. There she goes. So can we wait one second and show? Okay, so this is the whole pane, the entire pane. Then you put it aside in some safe place that it won't be shattered. Here's what the tracks look like, the frame of the window. This is the sticky stuff that was holding that window in. You can hear it sticking to my glove. And that's what you need to release to get that pane of glass out. Okay y'all, we have removed the screen, the slider panel, and the stationary panel. So now we're down to the frame. Sister's going to take a screwdriver and remove the centerpiece. And we'll show you, this is an aluminum uh, framed window. There are screws right down here. Right there y'all, there's two of them. Phillips. And she's going to remove those so she can take out this middle centerpiece and there are two up there hope y'all can see it she's gonna whack it out because one screw is buried up there it just ain't working trying to unscrew them all right y'all she's taking a hammer and whacking it out there you go that's how she removed it that will probably just rock out rock it back and forth there you go it's coming out where are you gonna cut somewhere right in there She's going to do a relief cut right here, y'all, so she can get that reciprocating saw in. She wants to put a hole in here. She wants to slice a hole. So I can slip the blade in there. Yep, so she can slip this blade of the reciprocating saw right in there. So she can saw up the frame and down mm -hmm. the frame. I'm going to take the circular saw and put about a five inch slit in it and then I'll use this one. You want to make sure that you feel around this window to see how close the stud is in relation to that fin. I'm going to set the depth to just to cut through the the frames fin and all I'm going to do is I'm going to position it like this and plunge down into it. I'll start my saw and then come slowly down into it. Save it, the glasses, y'all. It is a carbide-tipped blade. Uh, ear protection. Okay, so here's her cut, right? She just used the circular saw to make that cut. It's about uh, five inches, four and a half, five inches. It's a two by four wall and the blade that I'm going to use is six inches long from the tip to the insert. When you put your blade in, it's nice to put it in without a battery on. So I'll just show you. I'm going to take, take it and slip it in the hole, the curve. The six inch blade resting on the stud doesn't go to your sheetrock area. See that y'all? So even when it maybe throws out a little bit. She's gonna start cutting right in there in the curve she made or the, the hole she made with the circular saw. She has eye protection, ear protection on. That probably happens because I let the shoe come off. That shoe. Okay, wait, show them. Keep that shoe onto the surface. Kind of, yes, tied against jump. the... Up against the frame I of think the that's why they... Just to let you guys know, the blade was bouncing a bit because it was a little curved at the end and it was hitting the frame. Yeah, if you don't keep it as straight a line as you can, it curves into the frame and starts catching it and wants to catch on it, and then it wants to throw it back up. Yeah. 
See that, y'all? Now she's going to cut the center of the frame. She's cut the sides with the reciprocating saw of the fin. She cut the fin off. Now she's going to cut that frame so that she can pull that frame out. Okay. Ready? Yep. Hit it. Taking the pry bar and bending it out a little bit. How's it going? She out. Yay! Okay, now let me get that. Go ahead, sister. Now she's just bending that frame out. Because the fin is free, right, y'all? Ready? Yeah. There's the fin. See, she's checking for nails. Yeah, y'all see there's a nail right in there? She got to get out. Just to get the nail free so I can get the blade behind it. Perfect. I see it. See what she did, y'all? She was able to use the flat bar to pull the nail out a little bit. Right there, y'all. And now she's going to take the reciprocating saw and cut that nail. Slip the blade behind it. But I am going to tuck this in so it doesn't flip around and slice Hurt her. Through. She's actually taking safety precautions, y'all. You were first to win this. So get behind the nail and cut it out. Don't get in front of it. Get your shoe up there so it's stationary. Kind of start off the nail just a hair. You won't see it, but you can feel it. I think that'll work. Okay, and then you hear a little thud, and it, you know, it's free. Away. I want to see what it happens here. And it probably is nailed pretty good. Because she's nailed, you know, she's not coming out. I'm going to cut it with a circular saw along here. I could now use tell the them why, why are you why. using the circular saw? But the circular saw made quick, quick, uh, quick work in the other one. Yeah. Now, because you don't want to necessarily cut your sill plate, feel behind there how high you have to have your blade because this is in the same plane right here. I'm gonna because I have about a quarter inch there. And I don't want to cut into my sill plate. I'm going to stay up fairly close to this. Fairly close to the fin yeah. itself. For, so sill. she's going to set her blade so that it just gets past the fin and doesn't go into the sill plate. And if that doesn't seem to be comfortable, I will be uh, getting the kerf, five inch kerf, just so I can slip in the reciprocating blade. She's going to start cutting the nail fin at the bottom with the circular saw. When you're cutting along there, you'll be watching your V. That's right where your are. blade's cutting. reposition. Spark line, y'all saw. Got something. Got s probably a nail. I don't really know though. So here's the hold up, y'all. Mm. It's right here. See it? It's cut. But now she's going to take the reciprocating saw and cut that. Got the bottom part of the frame released with the fin still in. Yep, she's going up and down with that. Rocking that bottom piece of frame until it fatigues the metal right there and gives way. It might fatigue me and then I have to t cut it off with the saw. <laughs> That's right. Which it feels like. The metal is winning. If you're going to do that, take one of the holes and put a nail in it. She's going to take a screw or put a nail in right there so that when she's cutting over there at this corner, it doesn't go back and forth, right? Then it's secure it here. There you go. That's 
that's the spirit. Oh, gave way. Amen. So she used the flat bar y'all and just popped that nail. It's coming off on the side. Yeah. Don't worry about that y'all. She's got the top one left right there. She's just going to put a hole in that fin so she can use the reciprocating saw. She's 63, old, 63 years old now. She's 63 years old. She's really don't like it. There it is, y'all. It's loose. There it is all the way. Okay. Oh, great. The fin's coming with it. She's going to cut that piece off with a pair of tin snips. So it's easier to deal with. Using a putty knife just to see where there might be some nails There's holding one right that there. fin in. We'll go behind the fin. So on that side of the fin, we'll cut it loose. She's cutting the nails so she can get the fin out. Checking for nails. There you go. Right she's there and one. I can see that one. Turn I suppose you all can leave the fin if you want to. She wants it out. She's taking it, it out. But, so I guess that's a good point. If you guys were going to leave the fin in, the nail fin in, and not worry about it, then you wouldn't have to go any further, right? You could just, you could just leave the nail fin in here at the bottom, the top, but you got to make sure that you're going to have enough room for your rough opening for your new window. Oh, and she down. y'all we're done now that's how you use a reciprocating saw to cut a nail fin or flange that's behind existing siding if you don't want to cut the siding itself we hope it helps and happy DIY